So this time I went in Abruzzo, guys, in the mountains, you know, here I was playing with water, here I was eating uh, healthy food, and yeah? I was walking, here I was inside a tree, here I was talking with this uh, horse, of course, and I was eating something again, and uh, there I met this guy, there are some slaves working, some meat, some waterfall, and this scary place, a fox also, I saw a fox, and, uh, and other animals, and then I entered this scary place. Uh, but let's start from the beginning, you know. To get to the mountains, unfortunately, you have to go with the train. And you know, there are lots of ships, dumb people around the station, unfortunately. She thinks she is amazing, for example. Very humble individual. Enjoy this other sexy lady. This white couple also is waiting for the train. We got a feel up boy here. Yeah. Why not? Well, she is rich. Of course. What about this? And this one? She's naked. She's sexy. Another hole down there. Look at this shit. They all wear the same shit. Because they are sheeple. They advertise selling your body, which is slavery, as being a great thing. Look, old smiling slaves. We have an Adidas boy here. Old Adidas. This ad right here is promoting this credit card but look how they use the word sexy for no reason just to catch your eye because you are stupid unfortunately and you fall for this you see the word sexy they catch your attention S like sexy but uh, most of all uh, S for uh, security This number 2 means second class uh, this area right here it's like a second-class uh, train coach. In a saner society, we would agree on uh, putting in the first class, which is uh, more comfortable, people that are in need. For example, someone that is older, that, that, that uh, the body hurts and everything, you know. But uh, in our crazy society, we let people that have more money be in the most comfortable places in the train. That hot shoe in Tappers. This guy is like 56 years old. Still hasn't figured out that they are all whores. Okay, but let's forget the shit now because the train finally arrived in Talia Cozzo in the middle of mountains, you know? Here we can see some slaves working on making Talia Cozzo great again, you know? Here we can see they are protecting this statue, you know, of uh, some monster, you know. But enough with this ship, but we have to climb this uh, mountain, very hard climb, you know. This was one of the hardest climb. You know, gas passes here, the pipe of gas. Gas is the preferred way for the matrix for, uh, to use for energy, you know. We can uh, use all kinds of uh, things to for energy. But uh, Matrix likes that we use gas, you know, so that we are dependent on them. Gas uh, cannot be extracted easily, and so you need a big infrastructure to, to get down and uh, suck all that uh, uh, oil, you know. And so that's why they prefer this kind of energy, you know, uh, petrol gas, methano, how do you say, methane, because you need big structures and lots of people to extract this thing and you cannot do it by yourself. So the only way to get this energy is by depending on them, on, the, on our predators. If we could make a list of all people that found new ways and new uh, energy, kinds of energy, cleaner energy, that uh, they have killed, the, the list would be infinite. So after lots of walking and climbing, I arrived in this little town, Petrella. Petrella! So this guy offered me a ride to get uh, up to the top of the mountain, Campo Rotondo. It's a big town. It's This is one of the trucks, maybe. So this town is completely done uh, for, for this reason, for people to come and ski. There is no stores, there is no nothing, just hotels and uh, beautiful nature. Dumb parents create dump ship.
This is full of toxic shit and they give it to the kid. They are dumb. Look, the state of the dumb is. Look. Toxic shit, she's enjoying it. You know about beautiful, here when I entered in this hotel they were showing that uh, soap opera, uh, beautiful. And talking about beautiful guys, I want to, to say shame to you, Team Truth. We were talking and he blocked me all the time, he didn't like what I was saying. And he said, you know, you are too negative. You always go down the pessimistic path and we've done that enough. I want you to go down the optimi optimistic path. What's the next step towards a better world? Well, if, if you don't want, I will not bore you. But if you think it's boring, I'm getting nowhere. You cannot... Think, well, you, uh, keep, you keep knocking humanity. I'm getting a little sick of you knocking humanity. I want you to talk about solutions. How do we move in the right direction? How do we wake people up? How do we expose the root issue? I mean, you keep saying, like, how, how evil it all is, and that's true. That's true, but that wasn't my question. Here, Team Truth, watch beautiful the soap opera. It's beautiful. Oh, full of positivity. Dummy, watch this shit. I want it to stay positive here. We need to start thinking positively. We need to start visualizing our, our path to make the world a better place, not to depress everybody. I mean, I like your, your uh, I, I'm kind of trying to go a certain direction and you keep like bringing me down. Negativity is not good for, for business. You are a businessman, man. You don't care about the truth. You only want positivity because with, with uh, dreaming, with positivity, you can sell your shit. We need to really picture what's going to happen and make that a positive future. The truth is not beautiful, you dummy. If you want beautiful, just watch television or just dream. Eat an ice cream like this dummy's here. Okay, it's sweet. It's, it's uh, very tasty. This is war, you dummy. Team Truth kept asking me, you know, what is the solution, you know, the easy solution. And I will make you a simple example, Tim, because you are a programmer. Do you know what is the solution to keep a computer from getting viruses? The solution is to keep it clear, to have a firewall. Let's say, for example, in the Bible they say, don't steal, don't have sex with a woman if you are not married. The implication of this is powerful, but you do not understand it. And you don't li do not like this because you are a, a, a already uh, infected computer, guys, unfortunately. Why do you think uh, uh, people in power flood our TVs and our culture with uh, sex? Because they, they want to, have to do the opposite of this user manual, which is the Bible, guys. It's a user manual. You must obey because he is, our create, he is your creator. Can you do something like this? Can you do something like this, man? Impossible. Can you do, you know, they, they struggle, for example, when you lose your arm, for example. It's impossible to create something so powerful, you know, all these uh, muscles and... Uh, and sensitivity and uh, you know it's impossible to do with a, a motorized hand you know with a robot hand impossible okay so this is the power of our creator guys and if you don't have the brain to understand that all this is is created and the only solution is to obey the rules of this user manual okay there is no other way they do the opposite of this operator of this user manual people in power they know how powerful that that book is which is a way to keep a human being perfect knowing this they are like hackers they know how to hack our mind simply just simply just by doing the opposite of what it's, it's in that book so there is no the, 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 this is a, the quick solution unfortunately Tim there is no other way Unfortunately, I, I say unfortunately because in your mind you are completely poisoned by their culture, okay? And you want the, the easy fix. You want to have fun. You know, here in Italy we say uh, avere la, la, la moglie ubriaca e la botte piena. So you want to have a funny woman, but also uh, to, to have uh, lots of wine. It's a joke, meaning that, you know, you want a woman that has, has drink and is funny. But you also want the, the, the wine, the, the thing with the wine full, you know? You want to have, uh, you want to have fun to make money. I, I hey, but don't have a problem with money, honestly. But still, 
you want also that the system in that way to work. It's impossible. Money allows people to excel and to do um, tons of work and be rewarded for it, and then they can go spend that money. You know, it's like saying, you know, I want the ice cream, but I also want perfect health. I want to, to eat McDonald's, and I, I also want to have a perfect body and perfect health. Impossible, unfortunately. Remember, you are not here for the truth, okay? You are here for to make money, okay? You want to fix the system. There is no way to fix the system. Can't you see the hell? I have to, to come uh, to, to do hundreds of kilometers to, to be in the middle of mountain to have something like this. It's impossible. It's hell everywhere. Do you want to fix this hell? Go on, fix it. I think there are fixes, and I think that's what they're worried about. I think people are waking up, and um, the, the government is still of the people, for the people. It's just that the uh, media has a huge sway, and they do use reverse psychology and product placement and uh, people placement in um, in convincing us to do what they want us to do. But I, I don't know. It's I mean, that's, why don't you run off into the woods, Marcel, if, you, if you're so concerned with... You're right, you're right, Tim. I lost enough time with you. It's better to speak with animals, they can understand you better than you sheep. So, great advice, I will follow your advice. And, uh, and, and really, these attempts of uh, these walks that are making nature are attempts to, to get away from you sheep, because you are dumb, unfortunately. So, uh, here yeah, I can scratch you know, the, the horse, he loves it, you know, it's beautiful. I salute people, people are friendly in the mountains, you know. Differently from you truthers online who just want to hear your voice. That is a fox, guys. It just saw me. Every time you see this crown, it's the monsters who control us, guys. Here's the octagon also. Refugio, cotto. Refugio is, uh, is this house here. You know, if you're stuck in the mountain, you know, you can go to this place. Yes. You can hang someone here and cook it. The echo is amazing. And now it's time to get the clean water, finally! You know, I have to be quick because it's getting dark and uh, <laughs> there are all kinds of animals here. This is, this, this contains beat 17, it's good for you. So I can just fit here inside. Wow, man. Unbelievable. Wow. Hey. Unbelievable. I'm inside a living tree. So this plant right here, guys, is edible. You can eat this. During the Second World War, people used to live on this when there was no food, you know. So I just took one, uh, a few, uh, a bag full of this. Uh, in Italian, it's called ortica, and it's uh, you can cook it like uh, like it's uh, spinach, for example. Just uh, let it boil, and uh, and it's good for you.